Hello everyone. Welcome to UA Paths Tutorials. In this session, we are going to learn about macros and how to use and run macros in UI Path. And also we'll see how to pass parameters to macros from UI Path Studio. First of all, we will see what is macro. In Excel, macro is a record and playback kind of tool which simply records each and every step what you are going to do and it will play back as many times as you want. What is the use of this one? By using macros that you can automate the work which you are going to do on a daily basis. So simply I can say it's a record and playback tool where you can automate the work which you are going to do on a daily basis and you can play back any number of times you want. First of all, we will learn about the macros in Excel. If you see on my screen that I'm having a data, okay, which I'm going to do some kind of macros on the this entire data. Now, what I want, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a chart on item as well as the tools. Okay, when I'm going to create a chart on these two columns, like item and column, I need to record this each and every step and for automated purpose that I can use in the future part. Okay, now how can I go ahead and create macros? So, first of all, if you see on my screen that I'm having view, on view that you are having the macros. If you don't have that option, go to uh, customize the quick access bar and then go to macros, uh, you know, macro commands and then at the end you can find view macros so that I have drag and drop or added to the view macros and then click on OK. Now what I'm going to do, now these steps, whatever the repetitive steps that which I'm going to do, I'm going to record it step by step by using macros. Now before that, let me go ahead on the macros, let me go on uh, record macro. Now I'm going to give the name as daily report. And then I'm, if you want to give any kind of shortcuts, you can go ahead and do that. Now I'm not going to do all these things. Let me click on OK. Now it's recording has been started. Now what I'm going to do on these two columns, OK, on these two columns or else directly you can see, I'm going to insert the chart over here. What kind of chart? I'm just giving any kind of chart uh, that I'm going to do. You can see that I can see the chart over here, right? Now I'm going back to my view and then I'm going to stop it. Now I'm going to save this entire thing, entire macros in in a which format? In Excel LM format that is macros related. Now you can see the following feature cannot be saved in macro books. It's in a VB project. No, we want to save that in another extension. Let me go ahead, let me click on no. And it will be asked in another format, right? Now if I'm going to see, I'm going to uh, file the same names and you can see over here while you are saving Excel macros enabled workbook that you have to save it. So what is the purpose of this? That you want to work it out in UI path that it should be in Excel SM format, SM format spreadsheet macros enabled format that is Excel SM format. Okay, let me go ahead, let me click on save. Now the entire thing has been saved uh, in the access, uh, in the macros format. Now let me delete it that I will see that is working fine or not. Now for that, if you see, let's go to view macros and you can see the daily report over here. So now I'm going to working on the charts, right? Every day that I will get some lakhs of records of data and then every day I want to automate each and everything, right? So that what I'm going to do, I'm going to creating a macro and then when I run this, it will automatically execute based on these two columns and then it will give a report to me or chart kind of thing. So then I will send to the customer. Okay, now I'm working on the chart, right? I need to change a small change over here. Let me go ahead on the BB. Okay, here what I'm going to do, sheet of sheet one dot activate. Let me go ahead, let me save it because of to activate the sheets in the chart format, I may want to add this sheet one, which I want to activate. Let me go ahead, let me close this one. Now, 
I want to test it. This macro is working fine out. Let me go to macros. Now let me run this. Now you can see when I'm going to click on macros, it's successfully executed. And then you can see the chart over here. Okay. In real time, if you see any changes over here, then automatically it will affect over there. You now, anyhow, we have already saved it, right? Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same kind of functionality. I'm going to execute this macros by using UiPath. How can I go ahead and do that? Let me switch to UiPath Studio. Let me go to activities. And then I'm first to open this, uh, to execute this macros, the first activity must and should we need Excel application scope. Because of this execute macros only works on Excel application scope only. Now, let me go ahead, let me browse the file. And then if you see, I'm having two kinds of things, which file we want to take it. If you're working on execute macros, then you have to take Excel, uh, that is macros related enabled one. You can see over here, when I'm going to mouse over on the products that you can see Microsoft Office, Excel macro enabled worksheet that you have to select, not the Excel related one. Okay, now let me go ahead, let me open it. Now to work, now we are going to working on the execute macros to how can we go ahead and fetch that activity, search for execute macro. Now you can see over here under Excel, under processing, you will find execute macros. Let's drag and drop onto the panel and then we'll see the properties first. The major thing for everything, the properties is very important. If you learn the properties, the 50% of your, you know, 50% uh, of your work will complete automatically. Now, if you see for the properties, the display name that we are having and the continue on error, if you got any error, if you want to continue ahead and then go ahead, we based on that, you can work on that one. Now, macro name, the input, you can see the macro name, which name that I have to give it. Now, let me go back to my Excel and let me show you the which name that have to. You can see over here, you will find all the macro names over here. Just copy which macro name that you want to and then copy that and then go back to macro name and just provide the name over here. That's it. This is the macro name daily reports and click on enter. Now we'll talk about the macro parameters and macro output. These are the two things, let's assume if you want to pass any parameters from the UI path to uh, Excel or Ma Excel uh, that is macro related Excel that you want to send the data, you can send it by using macro parameters and macro. Based on that, if you want to get some output that you can go ahead and get it by using macro output. I will explain the same, these two properties right away in the same, uh, same session. Now, after completion, first of all, for the being that what I'm going to do, I'm going to execute this uh, macro that is daily report. So once it has been completed, I will display like message box. I will just give the name as operation value as completed. Okay, now let me go ahead, let me save the bot. Now, if you see in my macro, in my products macro that I don't find any kind of uh, charts over here. Now, let me go ahead, let me run the bot. Now you can see the chart has been displayed automatically when I have executed the UI bot, UI path bot. And you can see the message box over here that has been successfully completed, that is completed, it has been given. This is how you are going to use execute macros by using uh, execute ma macro activity. Now, I will show you the remaining two properties that how we are going to do macros parameters and how to get the output from the macro output. Now, let me go back to my Excel. Let me go to my macros and view macros and you can see step into if i when i click into step into i will get the functionality over here what kind of code in vb it has been returned if you can see microsoft visual basic it has been returned in visual basic but you don't want to worry about all these things because of you will get macros enable worksheet only to work with this one but over here what i'm going to do if you want to skip it out this up to this portion you can go ahead and skip it out now, simply what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a function over here 
to some of the marks which we are going to pass from the UI path and then the macros will fetch it and then it will manipulate, it will calculate and then it will give us an output. I'm already having some of the function over here with me for the sum of the marks which I'm going to pass it out and then I'm going to get the output as sum of the marks and then I'm going to end the function. This is the which one I'm going to have. So over here, this copy this function, which function that you need to call it and then go back to Excel and then for the parameters over here, the macro name has to change with the function name over there that we have seen, right? Let me go ahead. Okay, over here you can see daily report is the function. That's why we have given over there. Now I'm going to give the sum of the marks so that I'm going to give the same thing. Okay, now the macros input, right? Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to send the marks over here. Let's assume I will give all or 90 marks, 90. Total subjects are six, right? 91, I will give top marks only 92. And if you see over here that I have given all the marks 90, 90, 90. And then if you see the sum of the marks, I have to get it as the sum of the marks, I have to get it as 543 marks. Okay, now let me go ahead. Now where I have to store the output. Now, what are the output that we are going to get it after the manipulation? I'm going to say it as out macro output. Okay, now let me click on enter. Now, if you see, let me go to the variables. If you see, it has been created in the object format. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the marks like, you know, I'm going to give it sum of marks sum of marks where I will get it concatenating with output. What is the output? Macro output, right? Now let me go ahead and then I'm going to convert into dot two string. Now let me go ahead, let me run the bot once again. Now you can see the sum of the marks is given as 543. I hope you understand how to use macros in UiPath Studio by using execute macro activity. I will give you one exercise to you. So that what I have to do, let me go to my Excel. Now what I want to do by using macros, I want to highlight the, you know, the highlight the items and all these things with a different color. I'm having some color over here, but still you have to use different colors to highlight them by using macros or else take some order date and then on the total based on these two columns, I need to get a chart. I need to prepare a chart over there on these things. Thank you for watching UiPath tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a nice day.